In the movie, There Will Be Blood, the main character, Daniel Plainview, wants to buy land from Eli Sunday because of the oil located underneath the property. One particular scene, called the milkshake scene, offers a useful illustration of property law. In this scene, Eli is finally ready to lease his land to Daniel. Daniel, however, is no longer interested in the land. Daniel purchased land surrounding Eli's, and he has been draining oil underneath Eli's property. Daniel explains that he drained out all the oil below Eli's land. Daniel essentially explained the rule of capture. The rule of capture provides that one gains ownership of a particular thing based on capturing, acquiring, or possessing it. Here, Daniel thinks that he owns the oil that he took from Eli's land because he possesses it. There are different ways of owning property, and in the milkshake scene, labor and investment and capture are reflected. Daniel labored and invested in the oil because he invested his time, money, resources, and labor into drilling the oil. Daniel captured the oil because he took it. This is similar to Elif versus Texon drilling because both facts involve oil drained from another's property. In Elif, however, the oil was under both properties, whereas in this There Will Be Blood, the oil was under Eli's land. A court will most likely find that the oil is Eli's because it was solely under his property, and upholding stealing is bad public policy.